Here we go again. If you've been here before, then you know that today is time for another mini tour. And you know that this is part of a larger overview tour that we did recently. If you're new here, then just so you know, that was kind of a brief overview. Today, we are taking an in-depth look at all of this DC crap and autograph paraphernalia. I almost said paraphernalia. My Freudian slip. Autograph memorabilia right behind me. So stay tuned. To give back to you guys, the Extreme Channel is giving away this giant Goro statue from PCS for our 20,000 sub giveaway. If you want to know how to win this, I'll tell you a little bit later in this video. Now as we walk in here first, first thing I'm going to cover is the autograph stuff on the walls. If you caught some of the other videos, I talk a decent amount about authentication and things like that. You'll also notice that some of these statues are covering up the stuff that's autographed. Uh, that's because I'm addicted to buying crap. So uh, first I want to start with this. This is cool. This is actually something I bought about 20 years ago. 101 greatest movie quotes. Uh, you know, and it's obviously doesn't have anything that, that's happened since this came out. But uh, kind of a cool display with some of this movie stuff. Well, let's start right here. Right here we have uh, autograph picture by Christopher Reeve. And then Gene Hackman signed the uh, uh, kryptonite there. Nice framed collage. Then we have a Chevy Chase autographed Griswold jersey from Christmas Vacation. Gene, Gene Wilder autographed Wonka collage. Got some Shawshank Redemption going on with Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman. So these are some of my favorite movies. This right here is an autograph collage from The Dark Knight, one of the best DC movies ever made, arguably the best. Now you'll see Heath Ledger didn't sign the poster because he died before these posters actually came out, but I do have his autograph on a separate piece, all authenticated. But otherwise it's the entire cast from uh, Maggie uh, Gyllenhaal to uh, Michael Caine, obviously Christian Bale. We have Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise sign this Rain Man piece. We have most of the Lord of the Rings staff sign this collage right here. Then we have a Goonies. All four Goonies sign this piece right here. Then one you can't even see, so I should probably take it down, but I have a Karate Kid by Ralph Macchio. I have some Cobra Kai stuff on order. Ted, I think one of the funniest movies. This is signed by Mark Wahlberg and Seth MacFarlane. We got a license plate from Back to the Future signed by Christopher Lloyd and Michael J. Fox. Brad Pitt and Edward Norton signed Fight Club. Again, these are just my favorite, some of my favorite movies. And then over here we have Pulp Fiction, a, a collage diorama again. Uh, signed by everybody. They're not all on one page, so I had to, like Harvey Keitel, he signed a different picture. The reflection is pretty bad on this. So originally it was just autograph memorabilia in this room until I got into statues a few years ago, or I guess four or five year, years ago. But originally it was just the autograph stuff. So today we're gonna look at one third scale DC pieces. So these are uh, obviously from DC, so Superman, Batman, a lot of Batman villains. And I think almost every one of these is made by a company called Prime One Studios. And they made these in what we call one third scale. So if these people were real, it would be exactly three times larger. And you'll see a lot of empty spaces because I have a lot coming in. Some of them, like behind here, actually is going to be uh, this Harley Quinn that we have coming in from Prime One Studios. Some are that are in route right now. Uh, Super Sons will actually go right there. We have General Zod from Prime One. And it's not scaling well with me throwing up these uh, images, but you'll get the idea. So let's just start over here. This is by Prime One Studios. This is their Hush Superman. In my opinion, it's the best Superman statue ever made in any scale. Uh, this is from their Hush series, which I've never actually never read, but obviously it's still a representation of Superman. He has three different portraits he comes with, and this one actually rotates. 
so you can face it any way you want. But that's a lot of the ivy that's tied to that Hush series. But these statues, so I think this retailed for around a thousand. They're hard to get now anywhere near that price. But uh, the sculpt and the paint on these is just amazing. I have them facing off against none other than Doomsday. So this is the Doomsday exclusive statue from Prime One Studios. Now this is a comic based version and I actually have them holding uh, a Batman head. This actually belongs to this statue right here. But I have them, uh, I can't remember if this is the exclusive portrait or the regular portrait I have them paired with right now. But again, just another awesome piece. Back in the day when I started the YouTube channel, I think this was my first big hit. Very hard to display because of how much room it takes up. To give you an idea, I can palm a basketball and that's how much room this entire piece is. And you can really tell when you look at him next to Two-Face. So a lot of these pieces that Prime One Studios does are from uh, the Arkham Origins, Arkham Knight video games. And that's the case with the some of the next few we're gonna look at. This is a really underrated piece. Now, another interesting fact is some of these Batman pieces never hold their value, which I don't understand why, because look at this. This looks amazing. I think you think it's a great representation of Two-Face, whether you're trying to get a, one from that specific video game or just a Two-Face uh, statue in general. Here's their Scarecrow. Another awesome piece. Very evil. Now, one nice thing I like about Prime One Studios is with their Batman pieces specifically, they do a lot of very similar matching bases, but with their own twists on them. So see these like here on the Two-Face one, you have uh, a good statue, then a broken statue. On the Scarecrow one, you can kind of see the toxic uh, poison going through it. And let's move down here. So this is uh, the Dark Knight. This is a storyline where uh, Bruce Wayne comes out of retirement and he's just fed up so he uses guns and kills people which is awesome and again another uh, top of the building with uh, some type of creature or gar gargoyle on top and again the detail on these just looks so cool he's having a bad day one of my favorites back here is this Batman who laughs so if you don't know who that is, I actually didn't until I uh, ordered the statue years ago. This is a storyline where essentially Batman and Joker get mixed together and he's very evil. Look at all these little Robins he has around him. Again, on a building. Then next to him we have a Joker statue. So this is from a storyline called uh, Batman Damned, which is a very confusing storyline with uh, just some amazing imagery and art. So his coat's floating in the wind here, and this, in my opinion, is some of the best work ever done on a statue. This one actually uh, is touted as one of the best portraits. And here's the cool thing, look at this. There are actually four different portrait options and display options to put the portraits on. And he's on top of a building where uh, it's not a gargoyle, but Batman's kind of chained up, which is pretty cool. Such an amazing piece. Then below him, the only one not by Prime One Studios, this is by Queen Studios, who makes these giant, amazing life-size busts. So this one actually has real hair. This is obviously Heath Ledger, Ledger from The Dark Knight. And this isn't sculpted, so they use fabric actual clothing, we call it mixed media. This is uh, kind of their own interpretation of him sitting in the jail cell with kind of a cheap base. I do have a different base coming because I have a matching Christian Bale Batman that actually goes with this. But the job they did on this is phenomenal. So most of these, like I said, retail for around $1,000. Some go for quite a bit more nowadays once they're sold out. So Batman Beyond, I'm not a gamer at all, but uh, you can't deny that this Batman just looks badass. And my wife, uh, you know, she recently, not recently, I guess, but a while back she did a video of the statues she liked the most and she hates statues and she picked this one as well. 
Again, on top of like kind of a cathedral. So this next one is Ivy Hush. So this is from the Hush storyline, like that Superman we were talking about. And this one just has a magnificent base. The creatures are alive. She's controlling them. And they did a fantastic job on Ivy herself as well. Then we have Killer Croc, again, from a video game. It's a great representation of him. And this is the difference, like you look at his pants here, this is sculpted, this isn't uh, actual clothing like we looked at on the Joker. He has this uh, crazy base Batman skull down there. He's in a sewer. And then the last two pieces kind of go together. First is this Batman, and uh, this is their Batman XE, kind of in a cryo suit. So he's getting ready to fight Mr. Freeze, and I love these bases. They look like real snow, the ice effects are amazing, they do take up a lot of room. This one actually comes with uh, a couple different portraits and a, a, a mixed media cape. I like it better without the cape, but just some cool detail. Now he is meant to face off against Mr. Freeze, who is right here. Again, look at this, this the icicles, the snow. And the, this one right here, again, just looks amazing. There's so much going on. He's holding his wife right there. The frost that they put on the uh, dome. He's got a big freaking gun. Tubes going out everywhere for his cryo suit. These are some of the best pieces out there, I think. Prime One Studios, and I guess, you know, obviously the One Queen Studios is amazing, but love this line, love this collection. To win this Goro statue, first thing you gotta do is make sure you've liked this video, you've actually subscribed to the channel, and you've hit that bell notification. Second thing is leave a comment below, and make sure it's a witty, entertaining, or funny comment. Because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video, and the comment that has the most likes on it will be the winner of this Goro statue. So make sure your comment is entertaining to others and entertaining to Mr. X. Because if I like it, I'm actually going to pin it to the tops to help you get more likes. So thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that Mr. X logo. You've subscribed to the channel. You hit a like right now. Check out some of these other uh, tours we're doing and make sure to stay tuned because all these empty spots need to be filled. So we're going to do some in-depth reviews for those pieces. Take care, everybody.